Le di las instrucciones en el camerino. Vamos a una pelea limpia. This is in a that relentlessness, that high octane work rate that made him so. Several shots to the body. You know, he won his title against Carlos Cuadras. That would be in, in this weight class. He's three knockouts. Only truly special. It was a very close. It was a majority decision that first fight. Maybe he did deserve the victory in that first fight. Second fight, though, he just got dropped. In the first round. And making things better for Gonzalez, no doubt, as he wings in some. Good shots right there, few minutes in that round. As he has elected to stay in and in exchange because Chocolatito not shot. This is our co-main Joe, I know you stopped and, and just tried to congratulate Jay. 12 rounds for the world champion. This was terrific. Julio Cesar Martinez defends his world title at 112 pounds. Good action here, Chocolatito. Englishman. Look at this. This was not a very good performance. By a sound defensive keeps those hands down low. Looks like I got hit there though. Chocolatito and Yafai is bothered by someone where he got hit exactly in the eye or somewhere, but he's bothered right now. Yeah, he's bothered by a people landed in the inside, but he was pivoting it to the left and to the right. Realizes it. I know he, he's doing the fight in the phone booth. You've the bench already here. Where Cal Yafai. Yeah, you can hear Yafai's corner between round now. Box. Hmm. How do you have it scored, Chris? I split the first two rounds. Clear second round. It got on the inside. Landed combinations. Yafai catches Chuck like that. He's doing very well. But your five must feel confident. will walk in Chocolatito back, and he's, he's having a really good run. Bigger guy, but Yafai, again, is usually, you know, on his dancing, good amateur style. It's a good hook to the body by Chocolatito. Someone's mouthpiece came flying out of their mouth. I'm not sure. Steve, Hall of Famer Steve Smoker yeah. with us throughout the night. It's been excellent this evening. Gamora, third round this round. Chocolatito is trying to get on that inside, close that distance. That's where he wants that. He would fight with his hands down. It was footwork and feints inside and getting respect doing it. Right hand there by Chocolatito as both men trade. Well, you fight, but his plan is clearly to stand in front of Chocolatito and trade. Not stand on the outside, not use the wheels, not box, not or to a lesser extent, Bernard Hopkins was fighting a legend in Chocolatito, but he knows this is the big name. To your point earlier, right, there's kind of a no-win. The right here, he's, he's punching and shifting. He's on the left side of Yafai right there and getting some really good shots in. In angles, just like that right there. Chocolatito chasing Yafai down. Yafai comes right back. It's been one of the belts that's kind of outside the against Chocolatito Gonzalez. Good action early on. As then both men stay close, Chocolatito throwing shots to the body. Certainly, his power is not as effective as it was in 100. Ask them why is Defy not using his things, but obviously Chocolatito is doing a great job at controlling that. Well, this fight being fought at close range, according to Comic Tracks, Sir Chocolatito is good at doing this. This is where his best chance to win comes. I agree. Defy landing shots to the side, but it is Chocolatito. The shorter arms. He doesn't gloat up on his punches. He can box. He's a boxer puncher. Why is he giving Chocolatito a chance to land? So he will be up against it, against a taller Jesse Vargas tonight. I think that is that what Luis Pabon was just saying? He pointed to his head. I think he was looking over to the committee. It has gone so far. Wow, Chocolatito power punches. Whoa, Chocolatito by Chocolatito. That uh, punch, one of the best volume punchers in boxing history. Rush. Trying to impose his will and his uh, physicality on the smaller Chocolatito. I don't know if it's working. Good body shot there by Yafai, but he eats a right hand. And just to break you in half and come up with a left up because of the chin. And to Chris Maddox's point earlier, that was a good body shot by Chuck. Those shots, and it's hitting a larger guy. If he's hitting a 112 pound guy, it'd be very credit. Look, this is the way he wants to do it. Wants to do it with emphasis and power. More power to him. He takes in a good body shot. But it's making this a very com in momentum. Fight is still close. He digs in body shot. How close do you have it so far? I am trying to fight him from range, and he's not doing that with a legend in, in trouble. He's just starting the engine running. Moving once, and they've all been by the same guy. So run the sun. Cal Yafai is not showing. Are landing. How many have you thrown? And you're trying to digest how difficult it's impossible. But you can see it in body language. And look at the difference here in Cal Yafai's body language. He's backing up. He looks a little, little weak right now. Yeah, he does. His eye is closing up a little bit too. That eye is. And we are beginning to see a bit of a breakdown from Yafai. Lunch.
lunges forward and misses with a hook. Good sharp jab, misses with a right hand. A smooth by Chuck Latito. Yeah, you find out a little out of rhythm. You know, if both guys are going to throw three, four punches, five punches at a time, Sergio, I think Chuck Latito has outlanded Kalia by 52 to 21 out of possibilities. Kalia 5 will still have a big say in that. Beautiful combination. Mike he said he wanted the edge. He wanted to feel fear of right hand. By Chuck Latito snaps the head back of Yafai. Yafai getting beating up. is looking to clutch now. And now he's dancing away. Chuck Latito comes in for the kill. He's been here so many times before. And down goes Yafai. That's a knockdown. Should, should the corner be concerned, but it looks like Yafai. Oh, down goes right. Yafai. The signature right hand from Chuck Latito. The champ is back. Chuck Latito has a title belt again. An Olympian, an undefeated champion, and out with that right hand right there. And this is what I was saying earlier, Brian. Only great fighters come back from devastating knockouts. And Chocolatito, he's proved once, and he proved again why he's the king. And he was the pound for pound king, and now he proves why again. Oh! Yeah.